Thanks for joining. This is Movado, and I'm back here with another episode in the Rat Pack Really Plays series. Today I'm going to do a quick one. I'm going to talk a little bit more about hamster cores. I'm going to explain exactly where you need to go, where you need to turn the lost and found items, what planets you need to seek out, and how this whole process works. As simple as it is to say that, hey, it's just a couple hamsters and a DIY kit, uh, it is a little more complicated than that. So the first thing you want to know about the hamster core process is the lost and found items now i loaded up my inventory with all the lost and found items i've actually done, been here one more one other time off stream or off video turned in a bunch of them but these are all the ones that i have from today and yesterday and some of that you know the supremacy stuff the first thing you want to look for is a chez krillis poi i hope i pronounced that correctly chez krillis okay so this is the poi you're going to look for is the first step this is a desert oasis planet uh so desert oasis is wherever i'm not it's not even showing my home system for some reason right here desert oasis is what you're looking for then you're going to want to go inside this poi and the door is right over here by the way it looks like a big coffee cup if you haven't noticed it'll kind of a stack of pancakes and a coffee cup is what it is so it's kind of creative on the build there. Okay, now inside there's a trader, a bank if you need a bank. I'm not sure what this guy actually sells. Of course, the original pancakes, coffee, tea, and liquors. Not what we're here for. We're actually going to go up this ladder, turn around, and then you're going to go down this little hallway down, oh, wrong way, down here. You're going to look for this little plant, and there's the half block. You're going to jump up and around, go back here. You're going to find this console. This is the ALF network. I forget what it stands for. Anvil Lost and Found, right? So in this case, I want to turn in an item, and it's going to give you a list of everything you can turn in because I have it in my inventory. So I'm just going to click, click, and just keep doing this over and over, and I'm going to turn all those lost and found items into this console. And every one that I turn in turns into a coin. And you'll see once I get back to my ship, I have a lot of coins already. Um, so far, I've only built one hamster core. The other two, I've looted two now. Uh, I took out another supremacy class dreadnought since the last stream. That one also had a large CPU in it. Uh, the one that I built was from all the hamsters that I looted. So I didn't have to turn anything in for that. It's a lot of stuff to turn in. All right, that's it. What did I get? 40 shiny tokens to add to the 38. I have 78 total shiny tokens, eight anvil hamsters, and in my constructor input, I did loot one DIY habit kit, habitat kit already. Uh, I also did go to a, I can't remember if I said this before, a Midnight Planet looted, or sorry, not looted, mined up a bunch of gold. So I have a bunch of gold ready and waiting for some hamster cores to be made. Okay, that was step one. There's two more steps. They don't really matter which order you go in. Go in. Uh, but there are two other planets that you're going to want to seek out in terms of how to make these cores. So this desert oasis can be found anywhere. Uh, it's, it's somewhat of a common planet. Uh, not super common, but common enough where they're generally not hard to find. The next planet I'm going to go to is an arid mesa planet. I have one bookmarked, and the final one that I'm going to go to is actually a moon located in our home system. Okay. And I am going to go right here. I have not actually been here before. I just know it's there. Uh, so I will have to do a little bit of hunting to find it. And I believe this is where I churn in the coins to buy a DIY habitat kit. I could have that backwards. Here at Mesa. Thank you. 
Alright. Uh, nothing too scary in here, just an atlas a little ways away. Uh, another combat ship over there. By the way, a little tip, if you ever come into a sector and if you want to know if something's a freighter or a combat ship, look at what the heat signature is doing. You see how that heat signature is going in erratic directions, kind of in circles? That's a combat ship. If you ever come into a sector and they're going in a straight line across the sector, that's a freighter. So that's how you can tell, tell them apart. It works every single time when you come into a sector for the first time. So if somebody is already been in your sector the combat ships might be going in a straight line but generally I've found that like especially if you're hunting Xerox ships if you go into a sector and there's like eight different ships there just go to the ones that are going in squares or weird or erratic directions ignore the ones going in a straight line just a little side tip there all right so we're gonna come on to this planet and we are looking for the floating market I think it's called uh, it will be, again, this is Anvil specific content, so if you're not playing on the Anvil server uh, or you've never heard about this, this isn't going to be available anywhere else. This is part of their Project A scenario. But Anvil cores all give 330k CPU reduction, so just like an aux core, except there's no penalty to power usage, so uh, kind of a little bit better than an, ice, than an aux core from that regard. All right. As soon as it lets me pull up the map, that might be it right there. Okay. Thought it was a Chevron POI. Um, maybe not. Either way, gonna go and check those out. And now here's where I'm gonna have to do a little bit of math because I don't know exactly. 78. I gotta. It's. I gotta do some math to figure out how many kits I want versus hamsters. I'll see how much they are first. It's a frontier farm. Not the droid I was looking for. Another farm. You know, I thought it was a Chevron POI, but um, an admin cord one, but maybe not. So if I see an admin cord POI in that light blue, I'm going to go there first. Oh, right there it is. The floating market. Son of a gun. I freaking identified it right when I came in, too. Oh, how did I overlook that? I'm a, I'm a ding-dong. Okay, I tell you what, I'm not going to let you suffer through watching me fly back over there. I'm going to pause the video while I get over there, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm getting closer here. Less than a mile out in, the f out in the distance. Although I did notice one thing. A Warlord Fortress here. There's two Admin Cord pink POIs. I've never done those. I might have to come back to check those out. Okay, back to the floating market. It is obviously floating, so you want to be careful with this and how you get your ship up here, especially in a ship like Zeus, which is huge. Uh, just want to make sure I get the docking pads aligned. Too far. Back it up. That should do it right there. One thing I always get in the habit of doing is whenever I get out of my ship because sometimes ships bounce, is I always jump. That way in case the ship moves, and I, uh, I don't know, that way if I, if I move, a lot of times it helps make sure I don't fall through the bottom of the ship and into a planet or something weird. Okay, I'm going to take all these shiny tokens. Actually, I'm not going to take all of them. I'm going to take about that many of them. How many do I have? 59. 
so I was thinking about this. Well, let me see what this is. This one does. I've been here before. I'm gonna get three more DIY kits. Pretty sure it's down here. Yeah, I'm gonna get three more DIY kits, which will give me a total of four, which would get me up to seven total hamster cores. Yeah, so it's down here in the bottom part of the floating PY. You go to see this guy, Mr. K. Actually, there is. I'd like to trade in some tokens for a DIY habitat. There are four. Perfect. Yes, I found one. Four. Actually, since there are four, I'm going to get another one. Okay, I got four DIY habitat kits. That's going to give me a total of five. And that leaves me with 60 tokens. You know what, if I hadn't got that last one, I think I, well, I just need to get a couple more parts. That's fine. So what I'm thinking about is I believe it is 20 tokens per, per kit. So I think I'll have enough, or per hamster. So I think I'll have enough for 31 hamsters, which with this will give me 39. So I'll be one hamster short of building four, four more hamster cores. So I'll have six in my ship. I have six, I have three in there right now. So I'll get it up to a total of six. Very close to a seventh. All right, now we're gonna head back to Zeus. Didn't fall. That's good. And now is the last leg. I'm gonna leave this planet. And the last place, like I said, is where we're currently based on this side of the system. We have a couple base locations. We have a couple MOABs, as we like to call it. My MOAB space station is our go-to. Two of those up in the system. One over by Xerox and one right over here. All right. Boon 2, Boon Moon 2. We are going there to look for the last thing, and that's to turn in coins, shiny tokens, into hamsters. see anything hostile near. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is in my constructor input put all that in there so I'm up to five DIY kits and eight hamsters. I think that's it. I could probably honestly salvage this. You cannot you cannot uh, decon them but I could probably salvage it with the multi-tool to get some stuff out of it. I might even do that, honestly. I kinda wonder, do I have anything? I must have something docked to this ship, I just don't know what it is. Can't see it, is it my wood harvester? Oh, my mining SE's inside, yeah. So what I can do is I can just take this small thing and I can salvage it. I'll stick it out of my miner and salvage it. Let's see if Boon Moon 2 has had the... that one, waypoint it. Crash Anvil Freighter, somebody's been there already. Perfect. It's gonna save us a little bit of time. We should check it out. Yes, we should. Ooh, the Anvil Freighter crashed in Polaris territory. Something seems suspicious. We might want to investigate. We might want to investigate Polaris. I don't know. All right. Landing here. 
go into power save mode. And I'm going to take all of these tokens and turn them into hamsters. Alright. I don't think there's anything of harm in here. Oh. This guy. Who are you? Kingdom Merchant. Let's see your selection. I will take five hamsters. Let's see your selection. I will take five hamsters. Let's see your selection. I will take five hamsters. Ten for five. Yep, I will take five. I don't have enough. Okay, perfect. What did I get out of that? 31 hamsters. 31 is the number. Um, yep, I'm going to go out right here. Because I can, I think. Yep. Now let's get back in Zeus and check the constructor to see what I all have left or what I can all make. I believe... Input, 39, and now to make it, I'm going to go to the CV tab, it's already unlocked, um, 16 bridges, 8 matrices, 600 gold ingots, so I have all that ready to go right now, that's going to be a pretty quick one, I'm going to get that one built, and then I'm going to go back as soon as I get more of these going, build that one there. I'm going to build them one at a time so they take the materials. Oh dang, I've got everything on hand, don't I? Okay, it looks like that is three of them. Hamster, I'm short of hamster. Okay, last thing I'm going to do, like I said before, I don't necessarily want or need this small hamster core. Actually, I need to put that in my toolbar. I'm going to select salvage, and I'm going to salvage this into cargo pallet number two so we can see exactly what I get out of it. It's possible I'll get a DIY hamster kit out of it, honestly. Okay, shove that there. And then remember, salvaging it, we're not retrieving it. And what did I get out of it? A DIY hamster kit two hamsters and all that stuff. Perfect. It's a lot of gold. Now I'm going to go shove that back in the constructor input and that's enough for me to make a fourth hamster core. Which means Soul Crusher is going to be up to seven. Bam. There it is. The fourth one. All my gold's gone too. All the gold I mined. I'll have to make more of that. But I'm up to seven cores. Four of them just made. That's it. That's how you do it. That's how you get the Anvil hamsters. Again, if you've never played on the Anvil server, you're probably confused why we're talking about hamsters and why we're building them into cores, but uh, that's a story for a different day. Hope that answers all your questions. If you have any, do please let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and thanks for tuning in, everyone. Hope to see you next time. Take care.